Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a brand new My Little Pony custom. We have Queen Novo here and we're going to transform her into Princess Celestia as a sea pony. Princess Celestia does not show up as a sea pony in the My Little Pony the movie, but I think she would look really cool if she had transformed into a sea pony. I've made a few other sea ponies. Which ones have you seen? Comment below all the ones you've seen. And if you have not seen them, make sure to check them out after this video. So here is today's trivia. Who is Princess Celestia's niece? Comment below your answer and stay to the end of the video to see if you're right. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is repaint Queen Noble white. Even though her body is already white, we're going to do this so that the fins and tails have a more uniform color. And we're also going to paint over the eyes. And here she is, completely white. Next, I'm going to use some pearlizing medium and mix it with the white paint. Then we're going to paint the final coat on Princess Celestia this pearly white color. Now she is pearly white. Doesn't she look great? Now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to start with a pencil sketch. We're going to do both sides and make sure it's even. Then we're going to go over the lines with black paint. Next, we're going to paint the purple irises. Add in the black pupils. and then two white dots. I think she's starting to really look like Princess Celestia. Next, I mixed a bit of yellow and gold and we're going to paint that bit of fins around the neck. This is similar to Princess Celestia golden necklace. We're also going to paint a little crown on top of her head. Using the same yellow gold, we're going to paint the rest of her fins. For her shoes, we're also going to use the same yellow gold color.
Using some pearly pink, we're going to paint the insides of her ears. Alright, most of the painting is done. I think Princess Celestia is looking really good now. Let's start working on her horn and mane. We're going to start by cutting most of these clear horns off. We'll leave a little bit so that there is something for the clay to stick to. With a large piece of air dry clay, we're going to start building the mane. Using an X-Acto knife, we're going to cut out a flowy triangular piece. Then we're going to take this piece and attach it to Queen Noble's mane. Then we're going to start to add more clay and build it up on both sides. I want to make it so that the mane is flowing behind her instead of in front of her. Once we're done, we're going to trim it again to the appropriate size. Smooth down the edges and wait for it to dry. For the horn, we're going to attach a small cone to the end here. Here's the pony so far. The mane and horn has dried. Doesn't Celestia look good? Now we're ready to paint the mane. I have selected four pearl colors. Pearl blue, green, purple, and pink. Since these pearl colors are fairly light, we're going to add regular paint to it. I've selected turquoise, light green, lilac, and rose. And to make it extra shimmery, we're going to make some opal magic in blue, green, and pink. On the main, we're going to paint four stripes, starting with the blue, now the green, a purplish blue color, and the final stripe on the bottom is going to be pink. We are also going to use the same four colors on the tail. For the horn, we're going to paint it white. And then, as a final touch, we're going to paint Celestia's cutie mark on one of her back fins. Alright everyone, so we are done! Take a look at Princess Celestia as a sea pony! What do you guys think? I think she turned out really beautiful. Look at her. She is so, so pretty. So of course, her body is a pearl white color. Here is a close-up of her eyes. I think her eyes turned out really good. They're really big for her face, but I think it makes her really stand out. And of course, I really love the yellow fins. They're like little golden yellow accents. So she has yellow fins everywhere. On her hood, she has the same golden color as her fins. And of course, up here, she has her mane and it is flowing towards the back because this is what happens when you're swimming. And down here is her tail. Her tail is also the same color as her mane. It's really, really pretty. So I think it was a really good idea to use pearly colors to paint her mane. And here is Queen Noble. She is here to visit with Princess Celestia. I think she's super excited to see Princess Celestia as a sea pony. Now they can finally hang out under the sea.
And the answer to today's trivia question, who is Princess Celestia's niece, is Twilight Sparkle. Did you get it right? If you did, comment below and win. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Princess Celestia sea pony. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie Story House. As you can tell, my voice is still not fully recovered, but thank you so much for all the well wishes on the community tab. Today we're making a brand new custom sea pony. I recently made Princess Celestia as a sea pony and thought that she needs her sister and partner, Princess Luna. So today we have Queen Novo and we're going to transform her into Princess Luna as a sea pony. A few of you commented last time that Queen Novo is too rare to be used for customs, but don't worry, this is not a real one, but rather a fake one I got off the internet. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is remove the horns on top of the head. Queen Novo has three, so we're going to remove them with an X-Acto knife. But we will leave a longer stub on the largest one so that we can rebuild Luna's horn. Using air dry clay, we're going to rebuild one straight horn. Luna's horn will be a little bit shorter than Celestia's horn. Next, we're going to paint the tail white to cover up the purple. This is so that our body coat is uniform. Now we can paint the entire body dark blue. Starting with white, we're going to repaint the eyes. We'll repaint the irises green. Add black pupils. Join her eyelids. And paint her upper lids blue. We'll extend the eyelids out for the lashes. And add two white dots to each eye. Using purple, we're going to paint a few stripes on her tail. and also two of her fins down here. And then we're going to follow up with bright blue. Using black, we're going to paint her crown. And also this piece around her neck. Now we're ready for the mane. Taking two sheets of clay, I'm going to stack it and then cut out the shape of the mane I want. I'm going to take this and sandwich it with Queen Noble's mane. We'll then press it together and smooth down the edges.
and we're gonna let it dry overnight. Alright, so the clay is dried and this is what we have so far. I think it's looking pretty good. Using purple, we're going to paint the edges of the mane. And then fill in the center with a bright blue. Alright everyone, and we are done. Here is Princess Luna as a sea pony. Doesn't she look great? So just take a look at her. She has a very dark blue body, so it looks almost black. But as you can tell here, her crown is actually black, so her body here is actually very dark blue. So here's an up close look at her face. Here are her eyes. And here's the other side. And I also painted a few of her fins, the purple color, just give her more color. Back here, this back fin here is blue, and I also put her cutie mark here. And I did this on both sides. The mane here is two-toned, and as you can see, it's flowing backwards since she's in the waters. So in the middle here is a brighter blue, and then we have purple along the edges. The same for the tail, it's actually two-toned in purple and blue. And here, of course, is Princess Celestia that we did last time. She's still looking really, really good. And I think she looks really great next to Princess Luna here. Look at them. So let me know down below in the comment section which Princess Sea Pony do you like better? Do you like Princess Celestia or do you like Princess Luna? And let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see Princess Cadence too. Alright, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have Queen Novo, and we're going to transform her into Princess Cadence as a sea pony. I've already made Princess Celestia and Princess Luna as sea ponies. Have you checked them out yet? If not, I have the links down below in the description. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, I do lots of toy reviews, custom ponies, and craft projects. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to trim off the horns and most of the mane over here. Don't worry, this is actually a fake Queen Novo that I bought off the internet. Here we go, as you can see we have cut off the horn and the mane, and now we're going to paint the tail white. This will act as a primer and help cover up the dark purple. Now we're going to paint the rest of the pony light pink, covering up the eyes and any other painted areas. I'm going to leave the fins and the wings because I think the transparent purple wings and the clear fins are really fitting for Princess Cadence. This pink is very light, so after a few coats, we can finally see the color. Now for the eyes. I've already penciled in the eyes, so we're going to start by filling in the white. Over the white, we'll line the eyes and lashes with black. These lashes are the hardest because they're so tiny. The irises will be dark purple, nice and big. Then we'll add the black pupils. And two white reflective dots. Now we can do the same thing to the other side with the other eye.
Next, we're going to take a piece of air dry clay and cover her scalp. This clay will cover up the leftover mane from Queen Novel and also create a place for new clay to stick to. Taking two logs of clay, one thicker than the other and tapered on one end, we're going to roll it up and stack them together. This will be placed on the left side of Princess Cadence. Taking a third piece, we're going to do the same. Roll up the bottom, flatten it a little, and place it on the right side of Princess Cadence. Using a smaller log of clay, we're going to build her bangs. This will go across the left side of her forehead and blend into the larger pieces. Using this tool, we'll separate the hair away from the head. And finally, we'll build her horn. Here she is, the clay is dried. I think Princess Cadence is looking so nice. Let's finish her up. Starting with yellow, we're going to paint her mane. This part is a bit time consuming because it's so close to the body. An alternative would be to use colored oven baked clay, but for this custom, we would have to use quite a lot. Next, we're going to paint the hair with a bright magenta. I really love this magenta, it's so pretty. Finally, we'll paint the mane with purple. This purple looks really great against the magenta. And of course, we can't forget the horn. We're going to paint the horn the same color as the body, a light pink color. Now with dark yellow, we'll repaint her crown. Last of all, we're going to paint her tail with the same three colors that we painted the mane with, yellow, magenta, and purple. Now of course, we're going to add the cutie mark. We're going to add it to the top fin here in light blue and dark yellow. Alright everyone, and we are done! Just take a look at my Princess Cadence as a sea pony! So here she is. I'm really glad that we left the wings and the fins because this purple is so cool. It's a purple color with glitter embedded in it and the fins are completely clear and it matches with her light pink body. So her hair is super bright in three colors, yellow, magenta, and purple, and goes across both of her shoulders, but I made it so that it kind of leans over to one side. So this hair is actually flowing outside here and the other one too. So it makes it feel like the water is pushing it off to the side. Her tail, of course, is also the same three colors, and I just love the combination. Here is an up-close look of her eyes in purple. And of course, she's also wearing her golden crown. And of course, I also have my other princess sea ponies. So over here is my princess Celestia. Look at her. And Princess Luna. Just look at her. She is so pretty in her dark blue. Princess Cadence and Princess Luna here has a different style of hair. Their hair kind of flows off to the back and away from them. Whereas Princess Cadence's hair is more similar to the pony and stays by her side. 
So let me know down below in the comment section which pony is your favorite. Do you like Princess Cadence, Princess Luna, or Princess Celestia? Let me know down below in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!